Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. About two weeks ago, I went to a baseball card mall show and I was really looking for comic books. I picked up three baseball cards and then I picked up a nice stack of golden and bronze age comics. They had some amazing books there. Hopefully you guys are excited for this video. Here we go. This video is sponsored by the Shortboxed app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below to download the app for both Apple and Android users. Download the app and start shopping today. All right, this was like the 30 something annual baseball card show that the mall locally to me holds. And I remember going there as a kid, but I've, I haven't been there in decades. And so this time I went and I was looking for some baseball cards and I was looking for some comic books. And luckily they had both, a plethora of both. I'm gonna show you guys the cards that I picked up first. Sergeant Slaughter is going to be at a local Comic Con, the Big River Comic Con, April 14th and 15th in Hannibal, Missouri. I'm going to be set up there as a dealer. So if you guys want to come and hang out and buy some comic books or just like chat comic books, I'll be there. So it's in Hannibal, Missouri on April 14th and 15th. It's called the Big River Comic Con. It's going to be awesome. It, it This is like the third or fourth time I've been a dealer there and it's more than dealing and selling comic books. It's just fun to hang out with people. So definitely come to that uh, so this is the card that i got for sergeant slaughter to sign it's just a common base set card i think i ended up paying two dollars for it because that's all the cash that i had on me at that time now i picked up this card it's willie mays in action and this is like a 1970 something tops card and it was signed and so that doesn't look like a typical willie mays signature but there are examples of this that are PSA um, certified as signatures. He did not, the dealer, I know the dealer, I've known him for decades. This card is worth $10 without a signature. And so that's what he sold it to me for. And if the signature is real, then it's worth more. But if it's not, it's just a cool Willie Mays card with a forged signature on it. Either way, paid 10 bucks for that. And then I got this Frank Robinson 1958. I think, yeah, 59, 1959 Frank Robertson Hall of Fame card. And I just like these old Hall of Fame cards. The 58s, 59s are great looking cards. And so, yeah, that's a cool card. I think I pay, you know, 20, 25 bucks for that one. And then I got a nice stack of comic books. So first off, I got these two from a dealer from Iowa. I got two really nice copies of Star Wars number one. Each were marked $50. And I was looking these things over and I was like, do I need both? Do I need one? They're in pretty darn nice condition. So as you can see, these are pretty solid, at least 8.0 condition and they're newsstands. There's one spine tick down there that just needs to be pressed out. You can't do anything about the color breaking spine tick, but it's still a great book for 50 bucks. So I thought, well, there's one and then there's another one. So this is another great, all the rest of his, he had like two, a couple copies of two, a couple copies of three. They were both reprints. So I just stuck with number one, gave him a hundred bucks cash and I was done for. This one's a little bit higher grade, little corner guy there, still seven, five, eight, oh, for 50 bucks. Yeah. And so I thought I would buy one and maybe possibly get them graded or just sell them at the comic con, at least put them on the wall. So they look good. And whether I sell them or not, that'd, either way, then there was a dealer that I went to on the opposite end of the mall and he had some older comic books and I was really excited to see those older comic books. I bought both of them at that time. I said, Hey, do you have any more of these? He said, yeah, I, I didn't bring, you know, nearly as many comics as I have. He just didn't know if they would sell. And I was like, yes, if you have any more like this, please bring them. I would definitely be interested. So the first one is two fisted tales. Number 33 It's just a nice EC war comic from 1953 and I paid 25 bucks for this one. I think it's a nice book. There's some there's some issues going on, but anytime 25 bucks, yeah, for an EC War, sure, I'll buy it. And then I used to have the entire run of Frontline Combat. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I used to have the entire run. This is number 5 from 1952. I paid $16 for this one and it's just a cool I maybe Harvey Kurtzman, Harvey Kurtzman cover, pretty cool. It's got a spine roll that can be fixed. Pretty nice book for 16 bucks. And I think the spine roll is actually why he sold it so cheap. Bought those two for $40 total. And then the next day I kept going back to the stand. And I was like, don't forget, remember to bring back some uh, comic books for tomorrow, some older comic books. I missed out on some really early, great, strange adventures. I should have just picked those up. But I was him hawing about them and I said, I'll just pick them up tomorrow if, if I've got some leftover. But he said he had more books and some horror books and he said, they're gonna be expensive. And I was like, sounds about par for the course with horror books. So he brought back 
a stack of four and it was kind of his test because he has more of these at home and he sent me pictures of them. And so these are the last books I'll show, but I, I'm really excited about them. The, gr the grades on these are, you know, questionable. They're, they're low grade books, but I was happy to buy them. And so the first one is Weird Fantasy number 21. And this is from 1953. It's got a um, chunk missing out there, but it's a really cool EC sci-fi weird fantasy. Heck yes, I'll take this. And nice thing about this is it's a Frank Frazetta cover. So I'm going to give you guys a nice close up of that Frank Frazetta cover fighting, you know, like, <laughs> first of all, there's this very futuristic female protagonist. And then I believe this other like caveman style protagonist, and then this dinosaur beast, beast monster. But there is Frank Frazetta's signature. Pumped about that. I think I paid a hundred bucks for this. Seemed like the price of the day was a hundred bucks for the seller. And so second book up, a little bit, a little bit better condition. This used to belong to Dick D. And then this is from 1952. This is Crime Suspense Stories. And it's number 13, as you can see, Dick D signed it there. There's a little bit of a um, newsstand mark and it's just a cool, cool cover there. Now there's a little chunk there, a little chunk there and maybe a little spine foxing, but otherwise this book is pretty darn cool. hundred bucks. Maybe I overpaid, maybe I didn't, but either way, I thought they were cool. I like to have these books on the wall at the Big River Comic Con because they just bring people over. They, they get people talking and looking at the cool books that they may not normally see in this area. Uh, next one up is Tales from the Crypt number 36. This is really cool book with the crypt keeper the old witch and the vault keeper nice stuff and this one is from 1953 it's got a cool date stamp there like it low grade book but paid a hundred bucks for this one i don't know if that's the going rate for ec books these days but that's what i paid last up is the more a more notable one you know this one might be pretty low low grade but either way it's a johnny craig famous cover vault of horror number 35 and it is the great christmas you know there's the present it's the axe to the head it's about to happen nice vault of horror 1954 just classic horror comic so that's it really cool books at a baseball card show so really excited about that hopefully you guys like this video if you're brand new to the channel hit that subscription button hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos i bought a silver age collection and i'm so excited to show you guys it's over there I just bagged a couple. I'm waiting for more Mylar bags to bag these because I think it's a low grade collection with some really big keys. It's worth Mylar. So I'm going to put them all in Mylar. Nice Silver Age Marvel collection at that. So really excited about that. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, comment down below what you thought, and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See you. Bye.